Hello everyone, my name is Nympha and I'm part of the global 1 for 50 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple, and empower the next generation, our children. In this video, we will be hearing from some of them as they share with us how this pandemic has affected their lives and what their new normal now looks like. How do we process the new normal with our children? Life feels unstable for all of us right now. It may feel like crossing a flowing stream by stepping on big rocks. We do not know when the rocks will be slippery and make us lose our balance. But we are not alone. Jesus goes before us and is with us. We can follow him. Jesus says, I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. Nathan, can you share about a time when Jesus gave you the strength to endure something that you thought you couldn't? Our school was forced to move online towards the end of the year due to the lockdown. It wasn't easy, but I made it through thanks to his sustaining grace. We are writing a test, and I thought I would not get some correct, so I don't believe in myself. But it was 20 over 20, and I was very happy. Because of my curiosity to know how to swim inside the big pool, I went and I started drowning. But rest assured, by the grace of God, I got out. What are some of the things that have changed for you because of this COVID-19 pandemic? We have to be really clean. Disinfecting items and wearing masks have become a normal part of daily life during this pandemic. I can barely see my friends and I can barely go to school because the virus is spreading very fast and we need to stay home so that we don't get up and us to spread it. Um, I was really sad because I couldn't go out at first because I love playing outside and playing with other people. That was the thing that changed at first when coronavirus just started. I see some of my friends rarely and I don't go to school and I'm always at home because of the virus. Well, you have to put your mask on and stay inside when it's COVID and then put your gloves on so your hands don't get dirty. These changes might make us feel uncomfortable, like feeling seasick on a boat. But we are stronger than we know because we have Jesus with us. Though all our lives have been changed by this awful virus, God gives us his strength to endure through it. We can make it to the other side of this obstacle and other difficult things in our lives. We can learn to adapt to what is happening. And there are good lessons to learn during this time. Nathan, what can you say are some of the good things that have come out of this season of being in quarantine. Now that we're all at home, I have more time to spend with my family. It has given us the opportunity to know our surroundings and be aware of the viruses and all the, all the diseases around us and how to prevent them. I've been spending okay. time with my family. I play football with my, my, uh, my family too. And I eat with them. We do devotion with them. Though things are changing around us and we do not know what to expect next, God does not change. The Bible says in James 1.17, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. In Hebrews 13.8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can rely on Jesus to guide us through these changing times like a lighthouse guiding and protecting ships on a stormy sea. We can endure this. Jesus is our hope and light. We have been through difficult things in the past, but God has helped us and made us stronger. God will get us to the other side of this flowing stream and stormy ocean. He is our guide and our lighthouse. We do not need to be distracted by the unknown, but instead we can keep our eyes on Him to get through this 
like he has gotten us through other difficult things. Thanks for joining us. For more resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, visit our website at www.1for50today.net.